about radio. Hi guys, um, I really thought I'd finished with this, um, but uh, I realise that I guess it's my years of building uh, special purpose machines uh, has sort of got the better of me and I, I simply cannot leave this open gear open. Uh, the chances of anybody getting their fingers in it are remote as uh, no kids in the backyard but you know for years I've designed equipment to be safe and protect them and it, I, it would be stupid to leave something in my own backyard that uh, I was um, anything less than happy with so I'm going to make a little guard it, it's not going to be anything exotic um, uh, but it's an awkward shape because this little potentiometer uh, sticks up above this top flange. Uh, I, I couldn't uh, mount the potentiometer the other way up. I haven't got enough depth uh, underneath there and I couldn't turn this gear over. So um, the form of it followed the function of it. it it's just the way it worked out. Um, and I've got a sort of half formed idea in my mind. But, uh, I use a lot of, uh, sorry about the noise, <laughs> I use a lot of cereal packets. And I'm thinking if I can have something that goes uh, over here. Okay, so I've got that, and in principle that looks large enough, it's a bit of aluminium. So I think I'm going to do that. So that's the basic marking out, so I'm just going to cut out those four corners to start with, and I've got to trim this end off and make my hole in there, but that's, that's a starting point. I'm going to cut the aluminium with my jigsaw, so I've got a bunch of different blades here, but this is a metal blade, so I'll show you that. Um, good use for your old um, uh, video cases. Um, when you're cutting aluminium, or aluminium as some of you like to say, it's always a good idea to have uh, plenty of oil on uh, on the the cut because otherwise these little uh, blades will clog up. Uh, but uh, a good dose of oil will stop that. It's also a good idea to always unplug uh, the saw when you change the blade. So that's my uh, basic shape. That's, that's got to be cut off, but I haven't worked out for it yet. I'm cleaning off the frays with a file, but the file I'm using is a dreadnought file. That's um, uh, not a fine file. That's, that's a, a medium file, but that's a dreadnought. I'll show you those in close up. Uh, that takes uh, all of the sharp edges off really nicely but it doesn't get clogged up. I've marked out roughly where the, um, uh, the, the central hole needs to be. If you're doing this commercially it would all be drawn and they'd have spent a week getting this far to produce a drawing. 
Um, but um, uh, I shall cut a hole there. Um, I say if you're doing it commercially, uh, all of this work would have been done and then it would be folded. But I'm going to rough a hole out and fold it. Um, and because I'm, I'm just going to be folding it in a vise, it's not going to be accurate. Uh, so I may well have to change that hole. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm taking a flyer and I'm going to cut it roughly where I think it needs to be, but it's uh, <laughs> it's not precise. Well, uh, what I'll do now is I'll drill a hole uh, and then uh, just cut through with the jigsaw. I went a little bit uh, beyond it there because I uh, I started cutting outside the line, so I completed that. Okay, Pushing this not from there but right down the bottom so that the bend takes place on the line. Um, uh, this metal is uh, that's 1.7 millimeter thick aluminium. I can't, I can't get in down to the line, the, uh, uh, the throat of the vice isn't deep enough. What I've got here are two old bits of metal um, with some holes in and uh, I'll see if I can, uh, I use them as folding bars. Um, but I may just be able to clamp that I haven't left any flags on the corners, I could have, but I don't need to have it as a rigid assembly.
If you can do it without using a hammer, uh, it's nice because if you hit it with a hammer you'll start bruising it all. Okay, this is going to be a bit more tricky, but I know I've got to cut that shorter and I, I haven't done that yet. There we go, that's uh, something like a, uh, a finished job. This one's tidying up and fixing. Right, so that's the story so far. Um, and uh, I've got just a little gap. So I've got just a little gap there that I want to close up. Uh, the other corners are all fine. If I'd been making a radio chassis, I would have um, cut this with a, a, a bit of a flag and then folded that over, or you could put a little bracket on the inside. But I'm just going to close up uh, that gap uh, down there. hope I'm getting this in focus. I'm going to close that up. But if you do feel um, compelled to hit it with a hammer, use a bit of wood to spread the load so you don't have an impact mark. I'll show you what I mean. Just going to hit that there. I'll bring that. Oh, I didn't have the right. Well, I had the, the wrong lens on, but hopefully you could see that. Um, get my distance, which is somewhere around there, I think. So that's the uh, the joint that I've just one little gentle tap. And that's put it right. I could just tidy. I could just tidy that one up as well. But I'm, I'm not going to bother. This, there's simply no need. Okay, so I just need to clean off uh, the frays uh, of uh, some of it and uh, and fit it. Okay, guys, uh, that's taken me uh, about an hour and a half. And uh, when I come into the workshop, I didn't have any preconceived ideas. I had a, a cornflake packet or a cereal packet, and. Um, that's uh, well as you saw that's what it started from um so i'm pleased with that i've um, drilled and tapped that there um so god it's a lump uh, so that's fine there's no way anybody can get their fingers in there and it's it's tidied it up so um anyway what I really wanted to do today was make the power supply. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. This is a, a dreadnought file, and the pitch of those teeth are... Um, uh, three millimeters and they're absolutely fabulous for uh, working with wood or sheet metal obviously you've got to go down the edge but uh, for aluminium or plastic uh, it's a really lovely file once you get the hang of it and of course they don't clog up